Dirk Cusack is my name. I'm a veterinary practitioner based in Kilmac Thomas, County Waterford. Uh, I spend most of my time working with uh, cows, mainly dairy cows, and uh, I have a particular interest in lameness in dairy cows. Lameness is a significant cost, a significant, significant hemorrhage of profits out, out of the dairy herd. Uh, there are three main areas, ma main disease areas, that affect profitability on dairy farms. Uh, you have mastitis, you have fertility, and you have lameness. And uh, lameness is a, is a significant cost. Uh, based on, on the best research we have available, lameness costs of the order of 300 euros per case. That's uh, taken a basket of cases. Some, some cases will cost more, some will obviously cost less. But in a typical dairy herd of, we'll say, 100, 100 cows, uh, based on the research that we have, uh, there will be something of the order of 20 cows will go lame over the course of, of a year. And uh, some, some of those cows will go severely lame, will be very costly to the farmer, some less so. But taking an average right across the board, if we include treatment costs, losses of production, uh, fertility losses, and uh, culling, the average cost of a case of lameness is of the order of 300 euros. As our cows are largely grazing based, we're different from the UK and from continental Europe, uh, what's, what's very, very critical around preventing lameness on a dairy farm is having good quality walking surfaces for cows and the main walking surface that I'm talking about is good quality roadways. That you have roadways that have a good surface, uh, that have fine material on top, and uh, that uh, are cons constructed well and maintained well. Uh, it has been quite noticeable over the last uh, 18 months or so, we've seen far less lameness because the weather has been very, very dry in the main, and uh, you haven't had a situation where the top dressing is washed off the roadways. Another factor in dry weather is that uh, hoofs tend to get harder, but certainly back in uh, 08 and 09 and 10 when we had very, very wet summers, uh, we had lots of roadway damage from rain washing the surface off the roadway. We had soft hoofs and we had a huge amount of lameness. But I, I think that it's vitally important that farmers consider uh, their roadways as a significant part of their infrastructure and invest in good roadways with good surfaces and probably even more importantly, invest in maintaining them, that it becomes a routine job this time of the year when things are quiet on a farm, that a bit of work is done to maintain the roadway surface so that the cows are walking on a cow-friendly surface. Regular hoof pairing. Obviously, lame cows need to be hoof paired. A cow, a cow that goes lame needs to, be, needs to be treated promptly and not left for a number of weeks before she's treated. Uh, I also think that it's a good idea to do a preemptive hoof pairing. By that, I mean that you get whoever does your hoofs, whether it's a, a farm, farm relief hoof pairer or vet, to come in maybe twice a year. You pick out the cows that have had a history of lameness, that have long toes, uh, that have a suboptimal uh, gait, that have an arch back or are mildly lame and they get treated as a bunch so that you're preempting a major problem further down the line. Lameness is a significant cost and uh, it's, there is no single cause of the vast majority of lamenesses on the majority of farms. So like you're looking at, at, at taking a number of measures. The measures that I would see as the most important is ensuring cows have good quality walking surfaces and that cows are allowed walk at their own pace so that they're, that they're able to pick their steps and avoid the stones and avoid the rough areas. And uh, I, I think uh, if you have Martellaro diagnosed on your, on your herd, I think you have to set up uh, a cow-friendly foot-bathing regime and do, it, and do it routinely. They would be the three key messages.